I mean, I don't mind more chances of photon crystals. That's how I view it. I still potentially will get something out of the hunt while helping new players. Bring it in the 175 Poe Newman. He's coming in. Big threat about to delete episode four. Don't mind me. We're now in block two. Just let us know where you are, remote battery. I guess if Chad had an alt character, they just wanted a little teeny level on, by all means. Gonna do the password of King. I made the game in Fodra. So let me know, remote battery, when you're able to join. Hmm. Damn, he's got like everything I need except for Rafoe merge. Let me go get that. Not Kirik. Nice. Level 4 and a level 8, sure, sure. Oh, let's, let's give out the hero ability. One heavenly. I definitely don't need those right now. And we'll bring in our Tangotron is here. Now let's get our Rifoe merge on. Where's it at? There it is. Oh yeah, we can give away a Gracia. I don't think I need that at the moment. Unless that's my super good one. I'm gonna hold off on that. That might be my good one. I'll give away... Do I need the devil technique? Uh, I'll think about it. Give away a heavenly battle. That'll help a lot. I'm gonna leave items for remote battery here to do as he wants. Heavenly battle should be a big one. Um, I guess I'll give away a disc of Brave Man. That got better. Wait, your ray gun maybe? No, I don't, I don't want skip dolls. We're good. And one Laconium for Tiggy. I need to get that to Tiggy at some point. I always forget to do that. Remind myself later. Uh, I have better items for you at some point, but for now I think this will suffice. This should help across your different characters. Let's get Brave Man's pretty powerful. Yeah, the Heavenly Battle should be a very big noticeable difference in your attack speed. It should make clearing way easier. Heavenly Ability is pretty solid for cross stats. No problem. Yeah, I don't have many weapons, unfortunately, on this character. Maybe on another day we'll give you some more. But for now, let's do a simple quest. We'll do maximum attack 4B. Talked about this earlier, this quest is ridiculously good. I want you to pay attention to Remote Battery's level. So he's playing as not Kyrick, he's level 4. I did not go collect my adepts. Oops. Let me go get those. <laughs> I I would like to not have to use any TP recovery items. I don't technically need them for the run, but I prefer them. Okay. That should be good now. Yeah, so I wear God Technique to optimize this damage, because all I care about is Rifoe. And, uh, yeah, I I'm gonna be one-shotting basically everything, so don't worry about fighting anything. Have fun collecting some basic items, I suppose. Oh, Dangotron is here. Yeah, I figured the team would probably benefit from just easy levels. So make sure to talk to the console, and then we'll get started. There we go. Poor Rappies. Get out of here. The Bowie staff. They're already dead, chat. <laughs> like, good luck hitting anything. So anyway, uh, Remote Battery is now level 5. 
That was fair. That was a fair, fair, fair wave clear. Nyom. Nice levels again for the team. Oh, I should have hit the other Rappies. Actually, that was bad of me to leave the other Rappies there. I should have put another Gafoe down. That is a lot of items I left on the table for the team. I'll blame myself on that. Oh, I don't quite one-shot with that. That's so sad. Level 6. What a great quest. Then go try on level 20. Nice. Goodbye, Rappies. Kaboom. We fight rare enemies, it's just kind of funny. I'm gonna do this for the Rappies. Oh, I actually, I actually killed him with my Gafoe. Oops. So anyway, Romo Battery's now level 7. Oh, chat's trolling. Alright, that time that's not my fault. If people are near the Rappies, they don't get hit by my Gafoe. I did, I did put two Gafoe's there in my defense. Boom. Yeah, spoilers. Everything's weakness and normal is Rafoe. Although those things, even with Ignition Cloak, I don't quite one-shot, which is sad. But yeah, I could just resign them. Things you can't normally do on other difficulties, in order to remember. I'm gonna leave out two Gafoe's to hit the Rappies. I'm gonna go ahead and Gafoe stack. So for people that don't know what Gafoe stacking is, uh, certain enemies spawn with no iframes. So if I spam four or five fireballs, then I am able to basically get a good stack going. So I'm going to put two here. They'll instantly take damage. If I do it through the technique menu, I can have frame perfect Gafoe's, which means that I will squeeze as many active fireballs as is possible in the game. Rip Dangotron. Yeah, this quest is fantastic for forces. As you can see, when you're a high level force, episode 4 is even easier on the lower difficulties. <laughs> like, this this crowd control unparalleled on low difficulties with force. Good luck out clearing this. I put out a couple of safety Gafoe's. So you can see the big bad Dorfon wants to charge, but he's already dead. I mean, just look at this. They're actually just melting in real time. Already dead. <laughs> when they're too far, I just grants them. So I'm gonna have to use some fluids here, sadly. Let me sort my items since they're in kind of a weird order currently. So we'll wait for people to come here, since this is good XP. Yeah, this music's popping off for sure. But yeah, so for people wondering how hard it is to get to ultimate, when you are with a party of level characters, it does not take very long. Okay, everybody's here. Time to do Kofoe stack. Goodbye everything in the room. Nice level ups for the team. Remember, underground is worth more XP than surface. Yeah, I'm just seeing everybody leveling constantly. That room was like a level up for the team by itself. Ridiculous. So much faster than playing episode one. And this is with me as the only damage on the team. <laughs> I find really funny. Bump. Just gotta make sure we protect the team every now and then with some fireballs. This feels like cheating a little bit. Thank you for spawning the next wave for me. We're just shortcutting you to hard mode. How's that? <laughs> you already have a character that went through hard mode. You did it once. It's all good. You don't need you don't need to prove it to anybody. Goodbye. 
Yeah, this is the only enemy that might kill the players. Skirtabulu is serious business. Fortunately, we have Grants. And you can see it attacks so slow compared to Ultimate. Yeah, so the team went down to the far end of the hallway there, because that's a spawn trigger. But our real path to go is here. Technically, I could have done Gafoe Merge, but honestly, we do so much damage, it doesn't matter. And the reason why we do this one... I'll look at Zag3215's comment in a moment. The reason why we do this quest uh, over the other quests is you also get tickets from it if you clear it. So that could be useful in getting some items. So let's see what Zag had to say. Is this an easy game to get into? Played some of PSO New Gen, but heard about this version. Don't mind long grinds and stuff. Expect what to do. Uh, it's pretty easy to get into. I would say it's a very different experience of the end game versus starting off. So I definitely recommend if you if you do play for the first time and you've not played it before, I'd say take your time playing through the different difficulties, since it's a very different experience in terms of like what is quote unquote good as you go through. But we're at the point where we have like a million characters, so we like to shortcut going to the higher levels. This game encourages... I would say the end game encourages things like trading items and stuff like that. Um, we do have a couple guides out for people looking to get into it, so if you do exclamation mark PSO guides, those are all the videos that we have on it going through like things like section ID... Actually, I don't think we have one on section ID in detail. Maybe I'll do that as my last video. But we have things about choosing your character, you know, race, what items are worth taking, what quests to look into. Because there are a lot of options, and a lot of them are kind of static quests, which is a little different than some of the later PSOs. Some are randomized, and those are worth pointing out, because those are kind of fun to run. Thank you for the follow, Zag3215. So yeah, if you do uh, exclamation mark Affinia, you'll get directly linked to their site, so you can create an account, and you can download from there. Uh, otherwise, this is it before PSO guides, if you want to learn more information about the game. We have those. You can also ask questions on stream, which is fun. I mean, right now we're playing on normal mode. We're helping brand new characters out. You can see the force is quite strong. The sad part is like ultimate force does fall off a bit, but they are still super good at power leveling people. See, they're already level 14. So almost 10 levels gained so far in this quest. Crazy XP. for more rare enemies, but it's fine if it doesn't happen. So I recommend not going too far forward up there, or you might get deleted by Zoo. Just be warned. Victory. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that music playing as somebody gets lasered feels somewhat appropriate. Oh, hopefully the last bit of the soundtrack isn't just... There we go. So it better not all be sound effects that are left. That'll make me so sad. And done. So make sure you hand in this quest as you'll get tickets. For those that haven't done this quest before, uh, you can turn in the tickets. There's a episode two quest called to the deepest blue venue, MA, whatever. Just look for the quest with hyphens. It just It's so much easier just look for hyphens in the shop quests at episode two. And then, uh, yeah, you just hand in the ticket. So every five tickets that you get, you can basically gamble for something. There's no downside. So you'll see. So since we haven't died, we will receive... We'll tell us in a moment. I think two on normal. Four. You're like just shy of a gamble on normal. But again, we're already level 14, 16, and 22. I guess we can showcase another quest. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go ahead and get some money out. Let's do a quick little Beyond the Horizon. A little, little taste that the power leveling this game can let you do, if you know what to do. 
We'll bail when we're done with it. I don't think we'll bother completing it. Also, at some point we can cookie quest, but I think that'll be for another night, sadly. As much as I want to do one, I'm like, uh, it is getting kind of late for me. Let's go get money out of the bag. So let's like give escape dolls to the newer players. It should be fine. So there's an entry fee to begin the quest, so I'll just help pay for it if people don't have the money. Beyond the Horizon gets silly, it gets very silly. So I think I'll give at least two to Remote Battery so he doesn't get one shot. So we'll let him join up again in uh, episode four. There we go. So I'm going to drop two Scape Dolls for him. As long as he has those, he should be fine. That's kind of the safety catch. And uh, yeah, we'll drop him some money. Just a little bit. So that way he can pay the entrance fee. They actually do. They stop you from going back. We've had that happen before. There's some quests where it doesn't. This one does. As long as you don't hit confirm immediately, it will bring you back. I think that's what happened before. Is like if you're comboing and you hit A, you're going to immediately return. But it should bring you back with Scape Doll. But anyway, I guess we'll find out eventually at some point. So let's come over here. There's a little guy that's near the entrance. He's going to talk about paying a fee. It's 10,000 to enter, which is fine. We're, we're going to literally pay to win. <laughs> Don't mind us. But anyway, downside, this quest does not give any items. Plus side, quest XP phenomenally stupid. Let's go ahead and just spam Gafoey. So we're going to do quick menuing here to make it as efficient as possible. I could also just go in the technique menu itself. It'd be worth it. Anyway, just remember, lowest level party member is 15. Remember that. This XP is very silly at high levels. Yeah. There you go. Group up together. Perfect. Level 17 already. Dangotron 22. Things that are really necessary. Ooh. Look at that beautiful XP. I want to be in the middle so that way I hit everything roughly evenly. So I basically should be able to one-shot everything due to how high level I am. Level 16 attain. Nice. <laughs> it's, just, it's just raining XP, chat. Look at all these things. They're dying instantly. How can you compete with this XP gain? It's disgusting, but I love it. Love episode 4. Never change episode 4. So anyway, we cleared the stage. So congratulations. We're now going to a harder area. I'm going to do my best to Kafoe spam. Okay, we have 18 minutes to clear the quest. I imagine in 9 minutes the chat will have hit their level or we will have quit out or something like that. What would be a good new friendly server? What do you mean? If any only has uh, one server. It has like, it is ships in the server, but it's, it's just one server. Yeah, don't worry about that. So, for example, if you make... As long as you don't choose to make a classic mode character, uh, if you start in Fodra, you can move them freely between them. So I can play on the EU server or the NA server, for example, or Chicago server, etc. So yeah, that... You're fortunately not uh, shiplocked. I guess is the best way to explain it. So yeah, we're playing on Fodra, since that's the North American one. Oh. Oh. Level 17, congratulations, team. So just make sure you stay healed. So team, if you got healing, just heal each other and huddle. <laughs> but you can see there's an insane number of enemies here. 
This quest is so good for when you come back. I, I want new players that have not played Force before to come back and do this quest to help people level. The stage is already cleared. Look at that. We're trailblazing through normal. So this room gets kind of annoying. As long as you stick together as a group, I think you'll be fine. But essentially, it's going to make me move around a lot as a Force, which I don't really want to do. So our kill speed's going to go down for a bit. Normally, if I was playing this solo, I would quit at this room. But since we're playing multiplayer, I might as well just keep going. Oh, team's actually able to do damage. I Sometimes I'm not expecting anything, honestly. I'll cast rest on you, that's true. So yeah, just do your best. If you stay together as a group, you should probably be fine. Power numbers. I'm gonna try to pick them off if I see them. <laughs> okay, everybody. Nice. Bummer man music going off. Ooh, out of range. I was gonna say, the always here somewhere. Yeah, I would say probably the biggest misconception I would say is that this game is very ATP focused. So rangers have a big advantage over most characters in this one. I feel forces are on the weaker end. They're fine leveling, but when you get into ultimate, they do fall off in some areas. They're still really good in others. I prefer them more as like power level characters or support, but inevitably you have to go like use specials. I think that's also the big thing if you've played other PSOs. There's not really like the concept of weapon specials like there is in this game. Like if I pick up a gun, it'll have demons and demons will do like three quarters of their health. But, like, it's very gear-dependent, as opposed to being, like, an assignable skill. Ooh. Level 19, level 20. Team's almost there. Yeah, we're, we're hilariously overleveled, so I'm trying to carry the team. You can see, like, they've technically have entered hard mode already. Almost. I mean, I might as well just keep going for a little bit, but I think once we hit level 20, we can use a little server command slash lobby to escape. So we'll probably do that once uh, remote hits level 20 there. Got a safety, Kafoe. Clear you, kill you. Grants the target that's too far away. Ooh, out of range of a Kafoe. Oh, rare enemy. Too bad we can't get items from him. That would have been nice earlier. Oh, they're just melting. Yeah, it's just... It is sad when that happens, for sure. This quest doesn't drop any items. It's purely here for XP. They give a lot of XP. But that could have been a photon crystal. Alright, so we still haven't at level 20 yet. Honestly, at this point, maybe I just clear it for the sake of showcasing the whole quest. We have 13 minutes left. Ridiculous. 36 off. Not anymore. Yeah, I mean, might as well just clear the quest, I guess. Earn the team a little bit of cash. I love them just standing there. They're like, oh, we're, we're fine in our safety corner, right? Forget about the enemies. Let's go on ahead. I mean, we will probably clear this quest. It is normal mode. It's very difficult to clear on ultimate. I don't know if I've ever cleared it on ultimate before. We cleared it on very hard before. But like, you need some serious, serious damage to clear it on ultimate. As, as you can see, there are so many enemies. You have to basically one-shot them in ultimate to get to the same clear speed. With only a couple points of leniency. Tangotron level 25, love to see it. Yeah, the things that'll slow down the run are their Gurtabulus, but fortunately just a few Grants should kill them. Here you. There we go. Hello, Gurtabulu. 
Do a little stick wiggle there. In case they freeze me, I just break out faster. Regular foe hit in the face. Look at me using actual regular foe. I guess I should resign because they're out of range by their abilities. We'll get there eventually. Hello, Gurdabulu. I'd like to not get hit by you if I can avoid that. GG. So much XP. So you'll, you'll, you will earn your money back if you're able to get to this point. You don't even have to clear the quest to get money back. But it's nice if you're able to. What a ridiculous quest. Hello, Gerderbulu. As long as I don't let Gerderbulu murder a party member here, we should be fun. That's mostly what I'm worried about. Like, somebody will just inevitably get Gerderbulu full screen and die. Uh-oh, speak to which? Ran out of flu, that was awkward. I'm gonna be so happy when we're back in the other room and I can just spam Gafoe. And the spell is so good. So we'll do maybe one more quest after this, and that'll be the final quest of the night. I figure why not. Yeah, I'm just granting full screen. Team should be mostly fine. They got HP now. It's like two few casts. We'll be fine. <laughs> they can survive anything. If there's a character that won't get one shot, I believe it's a, it'll be the Hugh cast. Ooh, fantastic crowd clear there. So this, I think this might be the final wave, because there's double Gerdabulu on either side. I'm going to kill one of the Gerdabulu. <laughs> I would run too. Gerdabulu wants to give you a hug. You do not want the hug from Gerdabulu. Nice. Oh, there's still more. Protect the team. And again, think about it this way, you have to still be able to clear this room in ultimate. Like, this room is actually pretty difficult normally, it's just we're playing on, on normal. Oh, never mind, this is definitely the final one. Triple Gerdubulu. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick off some of the Gerdubulu here. That last zoo I can't reach. Team can kill it, that'd be great. Perfect. And now for the final area. Okay, I'm still back in Gafoe merge mode, that's fun. I guess I technically could have buffed Rafoe, but I don't think it mattered that much. Just let me make sure the team receives buffs, or else they're gonna take big damage. Yeah, the team will help pick off anything that's slightly out of range. Where if they shoot the guns at the targets, they're good. The enemy will try to teleport in to punish them, but I do so much damage that if they go in range of me, they just simply cease to exist. There's there's no in-between. So basically, we just have to lure them closer. Level 22, nice. You can see these enemies literally dying on spawn thanks to Gafoe stacking. I love Gafoe stacking. So good. If you know you're not moving for a while, you're like, hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! Look at the damage. Where's their immunity chat? Where's their iframes? There are no iframes where they're going. Disgusting. Level 22 and rising. It's so rare that I actually complete this quest. It is funny to do. You tell him, Bomber Manar. I'm 
gonna say. I don't know where the other lizard is. I'm assuming it'll get hit by Megaphobia eventually, wherever it is. Where is it? It, nothing was targetable for me. I was like, I, I used Grants and Grants didn't find a target. Like, what do you what do you want me to do, game? Right, so there's a zoo somewhere. That one's dead. Nicely done. That guy should be melted. Is Mr. Freeze Gifoe for good or for evil? It's true. We'll find out one day with the bomb elements what they do. Hmm. Beautiful XP. I mean, we're down to six minutes with this character power clearing. This quest is so long. Again, I would love to see somebody actually clear this in Ultimate. Holy, there we go. Completed it with six minutes to spare. Congratulations! Receive a reward. Get 2,500 back. Alright, so let's do, I guess, a hard mode? Massive attack? That'll be it for now. Tegotron already a whopping 27. That seems fair. Dangotron moving up the ranks. I was gonna say, remote battery is already like, wow, I've almost caught up to level 40. It's been like 20 minutes. <laughs> we haven't even seen what hard mode episode 4 XP is like yet. Oh, episode 4. You don't play by any of the rules. Yeah, the XP is actually insane. So just think. If you slowly raise a mind mag, you too could just instant clear all of these rooms. <laughs> yeah, this isn't even XP week, by the way. You could get more XP than what we're getting currently. So you could have leveled in half the time. <laughs> Three days of normal questing? Oof. Oh, it must be on the horizon. Yeah, it... The first time you play, it takes like a good few weeks to get into ultimate by yourself with no trading, especially if doing solo. But then, um, then you party with people and then you're like, oh. Sort our inventory out a little bit. So remember, they started this quest at 23. I just wanted to be known. That is the level in which they entered this quest. Oh, I don't want that, actually. I forgot which one was my technique menu. Whatever. I'm tired, let's not think about it. We'll use this menu. You can see I'm still insta-killing them, just about it being hard mode. I'll cast shift it, maybe. I mean, I don't think the team's gonna get a chance to hit anything yet, but I mean, I guess I can shift to you if you want. Right, so walk away from the rapies. These enemies could drop something useful. No, 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 no. Uh, it's gonna mess it up. Okay, we're good. A mag dropped. A Varuna mag of purple color. I don't know if that's worth anything. But if somebody wanted a purple mag, it's there. Our material? Yeah, I'll probably pick that up. That's worth it. on a 1 minute 50 second feed timer chat. It's already 7024. I'd love to see it. So much damage. You collect mags. Do you want them, Dango? I'll go back for it. It's not that far. I don't normally collect mags. Oh, is it like a partially leveled mag or something? That would explain it. I was gonna say, I don't remember mags dropping from these. Well, I'll take that trifluid actually. Aw, uh, sorry to hear. Good luck with it. 
How messed up is it? I mean... Oh, because you put snake on it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's not like the worst. It's definitely preferable to have dolphin. It technically could still be used for mag blasts. Yeah, the problem is he's got the, uh... Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's bad if you don't get the twins. If you get the twins, it's over. If you don't get the twins, it's over, for sure. Dolphin is nice to have. Angel is nice to have. I'll hand it back at the end of the run. How's that? I'll just hold on to it for you. So you could just gather more items. I I'm not looking to pick up anything other than materials or uh, other things. Another power material. Thank you, higher difficulty. I do want you. <laughs> a Jaya. <laughs> Did chat seriously get a Jaya here? That's too funny. I wonder if it had hit percentage. Like, that's an endgame weapon, by the way. Yes, it is casually on hard mode. No, it doesn't make sense. If it rolled with hit percentage, it's actually, like, the best of the best. I'm assuming because no prompt came up, it is not, like, an insane hit Jaya. But it could still have, like, 20 or 30 hit. Easy. Goodbye, these enemies. Oh, the music paused at the most awkward time. Uh, no, it'll be there. So if t if any hit exists, it'll show five attributes. Otherwise, if it has no hit, it just shows four. There we go. Team's already 24 and 25. Yeah, sadly. Alright, time to Gafoe stack. We're gonna pick a point close to the center of where they spawn, and we're just gonna start stacking them here. You can see that it's effective because some of them get hit instantly. Oh, I'm a little too far over. Let me move a little closer. So I don't spook them. Just don't go near the rock. The rock will lead to dwarf on and you'll die. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he almost got an ability out. That would have been bad for the team. <laughs> that would that would have been like a triple kill. Yeah, Dorfon lasering or charging is very dangerous for the party. That that thing will absolutely kill you. <laughs> Just like it does insane damage. I mean, Hue cast helps. It's like playing with HP materials. Should probably have switched over to Ripoe merge walking over here. But that's fun. Let's take a couple of Gafoe. Rare Rappy. Uh, I don't know where it is. Heard it run, though. Oh, it dropped an ad slot? That's hilarious. Oh, hard mode. Giving me items I actually want. <laughs> You're nothing like ultimate mode. I guess the Rappy was over there. Yeah, for those that don't know, add slot basically literally adds slots to armor so you can have more units. I would probably save those for actually good armor and not just burn them on common items. So wait till you get an armor that you want, like deep parts or something like that. Pazuzu? What? Where is this when I'm playing ultimate? Photon crystal. Whatever. <laughs> chat whatever <laughs> where where is this when we're doing anything on high difficulties holy did everybody get one because even i got one that's rare <laughs> what the heck is this exactly graw indeed yeah. that deserves a graw what the heck was that i mean photon crystal's really good so one it's currency that's used to another jaya it's another uh, currency that enables you to do black paper deals, which lets you get uh, super strong weapons with no attributes early, but 
It also can be used to just directly add hit percentage to enemy part weapons. So it's a, it's a double purpose. It's good for beginners. It's good for late game players. So the fact that we all got one and the fact that this is happening on a hard mode is hilarious. See chat, this is why secretly every week is very hard mode week, except for drop rate up. <laughs> Just play rare up, and then the rare enemies get boosted. It's easy. Just just roll rare enemy every time. I'll take that mine material. Oh, wait a minute. I got baited. Why didn't I pick it up? Game, please. I pick up like a... I picked up a trimate. Okay. So you can see clear speed so far not really hampered much by hard mode. So this just is free XP for the team. And again, this will result in tickets. Tickets can result in you getting things like Girasol, which is a really strong weapon, especially for new players. Samurai armor is okay. Why is there Castlevania in my Bomberman? Wait, what? Why is there a Castlevania remix in Bomberman? Not the crossover I would have guessed. I mean, I think Hudson when I think Bomberman, not Konami. I always forget what this song is called. It is a very common Castlevania song, though. It's like a million versions of the song. And yeah, we're gonna flood the screen. The unexpected Bombervania. Van oh, it is Vampire Killer. I'm like, it's not Bloody Tear. What was it called? Okay, there we go. Gertie Bulu does take more time. That That's like the only noticeable part of the run. Why are there so many Castlevania songs? This is also, this is also still Castlevania. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's equip Rafoe Merge. Boost our techniques by 30%. Yeah, one thing that's a little obtuse for new players is like, there's a lot of items that do hidden effects. Did we come this way before? Indeed, we did. That's probably the most obtuse. Most other things are straightforward. A little trolly at times, but mostly straightforward. Dangotron halfway out of hard mode already. Level 30. 40 needed to go to very hard. Yeah, the downside to this kind of rush is that if you don't have a good mag afterwards, it can feel kind of bad to level with this character. That's the only downside. <laughs> 45 XP a second, that's more than some of my episode 2 quests on ultimate. Poor ultimate episode 2, you're so bad sometimes. Low and sword, nice. That's actually a good pickup for uh, a Hugh cast, actually. Genuinely. That's on my list of popper carries. Uh oh, dead player. Yeah, you can combine it pretty easily with uh, flow and armor, flow, or excuse me, flow and frame plus flow and shield for decent damage. And that could carry you through early ultimate, but you'll eventually sub out. It's a pretty solid pickup. If there was like another Pazuzu here, I was gonna lose my mind. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're like, where is this when we play other difficulties? They're all hiding and very hard. I like to think we caused an extinction in ultimate. Like, there just aren't any rare enemies left. They've just all been purged. They've been overhunted. We just found, like, the untapped source of very hard mode for them. Also, you know what's really sad, chat? This character is, like, more or less out of 10 levels. Eight of the levels have purely been through very hard mode. <laughs> what a character. He's put in the he's put in the grind. 
Ooh, that damage is so good. So we always zap here to encourage them to come forward. Now perish. by all these enemies. Look at that, team's level 28 already. Almost everybody's halfway out of hard mode already. It took like a quest and a half-ish. That seems fair. I mean, with how fast this quest is going, maybe I'll do one more quest for the team. Luck one, sure it's found. Curse Edge Gene Flow, nice, nice. Out of TP, that's awkward. Three and off, it's not bad. Goodbye, Marissa. One day you'll get a pair of jeans that flow. It's very stubborn. I'm very surprised that it's not happened. I think you're getting close to 30 with me, which is exceptionally high to go without a pair of jean flow. Another Jaya. If Chad is wondering, most of my hit Jaya's have come from hard to very hard. I have done almost no ultimate level hunts for Jaya, and I don't regret it. There's really good hunts in other locations. Okay, let's get this. I'll leave the mag in the other place. That slot, Photon Crystal... Materials, actually good pickups. I'm gonna pop some boxes. Don't mind me, I just know where they are. I don't have to go around the wall. We should get a pretty good number of tickets here. Yeah, that'd be 11 tickets, assuming no deaths. I'm gonna leave the mag on the floor. I mean, I guess I could do another Beyond the Horizon or something with the team. Or actually, you know what? For remote, there's one thing we could do. I'll burn a cookie. <laughs> we're, we're putting XP to max, chat. Like, we, we went from Massive Attack 4B, which is fast, we did Beyond the Horizon, which is really fast, but we're we're gonna put it all the way forward. <laughs> this XP will be some of the dumbest things you have ever seen. This is what we are going to entitle. This is why you should play during Halloween. So let's take advantage of rare item up, I guess. On the off chance that we get rare enemies again for no reason. Because these cookies are safe for leveling other people, so I can afford to take away one from this pretty easily. So yep, this will be the final quest. It's cookie time. We'll use some at later levels. We're gonna save them mostly for very hard or ultimate, but I don't mind burning one here. Yeah, this is gonna be an insane amount of XP. So this is like maximum XP. Like the the solo quest of a uh, new mop up operation, the third one, whatever it is, where it's Desert Two. That one's really good solo, and that one's better than Massive Attack. But this one. Mm -mm -mm. So we're going to play a very special holiday quest. 
we've gathered a lot of cookies. We're gonna we're gonna give a salute to this cookie as it is about to be sacrificed for the greater good. So you might notice it's a 300 XP percent multiplier. So keep in mind, we've been playing at 100% XP this whole time. What if more? <laughs> Let's go. I fed him the cookie. We got to co restore color to the world. And the best way to do that is to murder everything that lives. Okay, go forward time. I love somebody instantly leveled on the first wave, by the way. Yeah, look at the XP. If you get a chance... Look at the raw XP. 127 XP a second? Chat, we were just doing ultimate. This is ultimate level XP. Please don't die. <laughs> you miss so much XP if you die. It'll be so sad. Live. I just see level ups everywhere. Surrounded by a field of white text. Just says level up. Heard a rare drop. Oh, Jaya with no hit. Oh, come on. Don't tease me with that game. So again, we can technically still get endgame items here. It's better to do these on very hard mode while leveling because I do genuinely think getting more chances of Ignition Cloak, Jaya, Photon Crystal, Heaven Striker are actually worth doing for the most part. Oh, that's a fast XP. So we've now officially gotten more XP from this than any of the RBR quests that we just did. I see team leveling constantly. That seems appropriate. Couple of Iconium is a great pickup for forces. It's a boost to Foey, which is not as useful in high level, except against falls. It's kind of like your anti-falls weapon. You can see I'm just watching level ups constantly at this point. We've hit max acceleration of XP. I don't think I can force it to go physically higher. I eventually want to pick up those materials, which are real. Oh, chat brought in the demons. Nasty. Am I not using GoFoe merch? I'm not. Okay. My damage look a little weird to me. Sometimes I check it, and I'm like, hmm. I felt instinctively at this difficulty it should have been more, and it was. The case. Oh, Dangotron possibly moving out of hard mode. We're about halfway into the quest. Dangotron is 35 out of 40. Nice, Club of Sumerian. Ooh. Laconium, nice, that's the better one of the two. Well, I get to team me some items. Um, we're at max speed, chat. Warp speed. Look at that level up pace. Fantastic. We're hoping for some rare enemies. Rare enemies should be boosted here, by the way. So we have a greater chance of finding them for Photon Crystals. And then due to the rare rate increase, we have an insanely good chance of uh, getting drops every time a rare enemy dies on lower difficulties. It's not like guaranteed. Oh. We're at 234 XP a second. That's better than like most quests, to be honest with you in Ultimate. We're powering even further beyond. Seeing the team a mix of 35s and 34s. Nice level up. Dangotron only three levels away from escaping hard mode. a little bit more to this quest. Yeah, suddenly, suddenly level 40, not looking so far away now, right chat? Just looking, you know, just fair and balanced XP. Oh, if they let me do anguish on lower difficulties, hmm. She was level 36. Alright, penultimate wave, we're almost done with the quest. We'll get out of the middle, deal with the Gertabulus. Oh, somebody brought demons again. Mm-mm-mm. 
There you go. Enjoy the sea of items. So many things to potentially pick up here. I only want a handful of these, though. I want this, for example. It's my synchro. Take the dye fluid and the tri fluid. I'll find what I'm looking for eventually. There we go. There's sadly nothing too crazy dropped this time. Other than, you know, a million XP. Uh, drop this. Don't need these. I guess I'll pick up the trifluids because I need them, right? Yeah, I, I do need them. So basically, the quest is paid for itself TP-wise for me, so I don't need to go back to the shop now. We're gonna go ahead and Ryuker out of here. And out. <laughs> Look at that team, team already there. I mean, I guess for the t for the team, I'm willing to go one more to put somebody at least into very hard. Yeah, that XP is so fast. Sort my items. Nice. I actually managed to cap all my fluids. Yeah, I guess a Beyond the Horizon should probably do it for the team if I really wanted to. Oops, I forgot to talk to the guy. So the guy in front of the gate, if you speak to him, you'll clear the quest. So let's talk to him now. So now I'm not as worried about the team having enough HP to survive. I'm pretty sure they're fine. Get an extra 10,000 Meseta. Now this will be the true last quest. We'll see if we can get somebody to 40. It's doing very hard. I actually like doing a lot more than the lower difficulties. Lower difficulties are funny if you can get rare enemy. So like I'll do rare enemy stuff, usually normal and hard mode. But this will be the final one for sure. How many songs do we have left? Four, okay. Summer Man Land. Ending theme, hero, English version. So here we go, final quest. There we go. We're, we're catching Remote up to his other character. That's how it is. He's like, I just hit level 40. We're like, don't worry about that. <laughs> Oops, somebody went out of range. Oh, there we go. There we go. So now he gets to decide who he wants as his main. <laughs> totally fair and balanced amount of uh, money. We're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy. Which chat should still have money as long as they didn't put it away. So we got 10,000 from that stage clear. I think then we got 2,500 back. Should have enough just from quests. Okay. Go we'll up the team. Yeah, but Buddhas are very annoying. If Chat can kill those, they're, they're kind of the art, not orange and green. They're more like the green, this one. <laughs> green and pinkish. Like dark pink. Those things are a problem for me. They stop me from good bowing. So if they die, I'm happy. Get away from me, Babuda. Thank you.
Yeah, I can spare like a Rebarter or two against the Astark. That's not too good. Level 37 already. So yeah, I have a strong feeling Dangotron is going to escape hard mode. Stop hitting me out of Gafoe. That is so annoying. I went to menu it and every single time I got hit out of it. That sucked. Oh, who does? I have to actually start manually casting a Bowie. I'm getting interrupted so often here. Buddhist, please. Uh, we're getting rid of him here. At least we're able to insta kill the Rappies. There we go. What a fair amount of XP. We're back down to 46 a second, which, as I said before, I have gotten worse in Episode 2 Ultimate before. Murder Flower has its way with you, you lose so much XP. Level 37, nice. So probably at this rate, the not the... Probably the penultimate room, I think most players will hit 40. I'm thinking about one room a level. Even though it requires more XP each time, each room is worth more. Nice. This opportunity to buff. Perfect. Dangotron 39. The great escape almost there. So yeah, teams, team's overall HP looks fun. to these enemies. Ooh. So much fireball. Stupid Babudas, get out of here. There we go. More and more HP. Let's go. Slowly protecting the, the Q cast army. Yeah, I'm expecting to see everybody hit about 38 towards the end of this room. But we'll see how close that estimate is. Heal the team. Only a couple songs left in the soundtrack. Probably the Japanese version of the same song if I had to guess. Given that it's the same music. Or it could be lyricless. Even though I don't hear anything, I'm gonna say Lyric List. Nice, level 38. Goodbye, all these enemies. Saw the panic heal. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's like, get these enemies out of here. Flood the screen with more Gafoe. So yeah, there's no way Dangotron is escaping this. He, he would have to literally die in order to not hit level 40 at this point. That's a little scary. As long as I'm pumping out Kapoe, it's not too bad, though. Oh, I got run over. That sucked. I 
next level up. Okay, just barely hit 38. To get a little extra credit on the next room now. Feeling it getting hit because your Kapoe was not quite out yet. It's so sad. Healed the team. Good ass, Stark. Please stop hitting me out of Kofoe spam. It's actually quite annoying. Oh, I forgot Dorfons can. Oh, I have to write that in the cure confused. Remember it. I was thinking I forgot somebody that confused in episode 4. Dango has escaped hard mode. Congratulations, Dangotron. Now to help the others escape. Still got 12 minutes to help them escape. I think we got this. There we go. Oop. Hopefully you don't escape through the Goron detonator slicing you at least, though. Not the way you want to go. There we go. Yeah, and then by the time this wraps up, that'll be... About as late as I would want to go, period. I think it's fun. I love seeing the team actually doing damage. Oh, time to kill Dagotron. Leveled up. So most of the team's already 39 here. It's a good sign. We have the final room of the area to make up for any XP we're lacking. At least you get a little bit of a sneak peek of episode 4. You don't get to feel the difficulty of episode 4 since I'm here, but. It's it's not that bad. We're hearing the okay now I think we're hearing the Japanese version of the same song. Funky. Fireball, you. Get a couple of freezes down so I could go Come on, level 39 for everybody. We're so close. There we go. Again, this is just bonus XP for the next room, so as long as we clear the next room, everybody should hit 40 at this rate. Yeah, I do like very hard mode drops in general. I like doing massive attack B runs for it, just because, uh, this is a before. Multiple photon crystal chances, Jaya, Heaven Striker Coat, fantastic items start to finish, Ignition Cloak is super good, in particular. No, Dangotron. There we go. Heal via level, that's one way to be safe. Although on the plus side, it means you could just be spamming freeze traps basically all the time. Which is also kind of funny. And I guess I'll donate. On the off chance that somebody used twins. I might as well as pump the level. Good follow-up, somebody twins, somebody snaked. 
You got level 49 buffs, that's actually significant. That helps with damage. Hmm. No, Dangotron. Rip Dangotron. Hardly knew thee. Maybe it only does that in single player, now that I think about it. I've definitely died on this quest before and gotten there. Yeah, maybe it's multiplayer lock. Huh. I know you can use, like, the escape dolls to cheat, like, the death counter for tickets in Massive Attack. But Rip Dango. Well, I did say the only way he wouldn't hit 40 is if he died, but he hit 41. Oh, level 40, nice. So we don't need that much more in order to get the uh, money back. So I'm gonna enjoy a little cash bonus. See a couple of Rafoes there to stun lock. Make sure I'm on Rippo Emerge for this, actually. Perfect. Part of you. Oh well. Unfortunate that it doesn't seem to work in multi. Not to test single player out again. But not today. Where to zoo? Off by three damage. That's a heartbreaker. When you're a max MST and you miss by three damage, that is actually so sad. Oh, hello. I'm getting trolled by random mag blasts. I can tell who's using the control panel for their important skills. Cough. I mean, it did do bad damage at least. <laughs> they are weak to light, so Dolphin does do a significant amount. There we go. Everybody's level 40. See that remote battery? You're all caught up to your other character now. It took like, what, an hour-ish? Time to earn even more XP. Episode 4 is a whole nother beast, yeah. It's it's certainly something. Man, there are a lot of versions of this song. It wants us to know that we are the hero. But we're on the final song of the soundtrack. Damn, that's gonna force me to burn a track fluid. I mean, I got like 100,000 XP. It's not bad. This character doesn't need levels anymore. At this point, he only really earns TP. I don't need HP. Not for the runs he does. Technically, I could bring him into RT with Blue ID, so I could do Boss Rush Episode 2, but... Uh, I'd rather play anybody else, literally. Of course, episode 2 could be a little depressing at times. Unless you have Slicer. Then then you have a lot of fun. Goodbye, these random enemies. Goodbye, Zeus. So if we can make it past the Gerda Bulu, we'll end up getting even more XP. So it's possible the team will level again, because they level pretty early in this room. Yeah, and I feel like, especially for newer players, if you're playing through story mode in particular, that XP is so slow. Which is fine if you're looking to take your time with the game, because you need time to level your mag. So, like, whatever you do from 1 to 80 does not matter as much. Like, you could do specific hunts to, like, optimize it a little for when you leave 80, but ultimately you still need to spend hours to level the mag, unless you're trading or something for it. 
but oh man, when you're ready to optimize, mm, you do quests like these. <laughs> there we go, 41, I had a feeling. And then I'll see for uh, remote battery. I'll check to see if I got any spares. I should have some just random stuff to give you. Just to help with the climb. It won't be like ultimate endgame, but it'll be good enough. Stuff that sometimes you can find in very hard mode. Get rid of Gertabulu. Get rid of Zoo. Oh no, we've caught up to Dangotron. Yeah, I don't think we'll clear the quest, but we should get our money back, since we killed a lot of enemies in this room. Rid of you. Nice freeze trap. <laughs> like, get them off of me. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna clear the Rappies, then I'm gonna get pulled in by Gertabulu. Yeah, I'm gonna stunlock war with Gertabulu, but I think I'm winning. Spoilers. <laughs> Goodbye, Gertabulu. Alright, time to assist the team. Ooh! 3 HP, living on the edge. Protect the team mode. Nice level up. That's one way to heal. That's who tries to die bomb me. It's gonna die to Resond. I'm not that worried about it. I'll be like, let it come to me. Witness what happens. Nice, level 41. So now everybody's about Dangotron's level. Nice. Look at them doing the little dance. So we might reach the final room? I got a minute to clear this. It's possible. It's gonna be difficult. I don't clear them very quickly because I don't have my slicer on me, sadly. Also, I seem to be stuck. He doesn't have pure shot. That is kind of annoying. I mean, I guess I could just spam Rebarda if I want to break this unlock from them, I guess. I mean, this is kind of working. There we go. Got through them eventually. Come on, there we go. Weird it. So we're going to get to the final room. Goodbye, Bomberman R. Go to Bomberman R2. Uh, so this is the reward for clearing that other area. Get some buffs going. Oh, we're in the super buff mode, that's right. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. R rest in peace, super buffs. We hardly knew thee. There we go, bonus XP. 24 seconds left, that's not a bad amount of time left. Yeah, I think we'll only get a couple of fills here, sadly. There we go. Successful enough. 40,000 Masetta attained. That's quite a number. Alright, so let me switch into my last bank, see if I have anything left for remote battery. And then that is it. No more quests. We are done for the night. So I gave away Heavenly Ability, Hero Ability, Heavenly Battle. See if we got some other things. Disco Brave Man's pretty good. 30 hit means that he could potentially use it with uh, 13 equivalency. Wooshy. Thank you, Remote Battery, for subscribing. 
Uh, maybe S Bank One has something. Demon's OP managed to basically solo that Gardevoir Blue. Yeah, Demon, Demon's is really good. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh no, Chad, I could level my Humar any minute now. I'm gonna call it Ziggy Trade, no password. Let's see if we got anything interesting to give away. We're always looking to make room in our banks. Let these items go to a happy home. Bad Berserk Caliber, honestly. Yeah, let's give that away. 40 hit Demon Raygun. We could give away. Random Charge Arm, sure. Wait a couple of these. Sure. Oh, you're in luck. I have a lot of frozen shooters. The Scorpio is pretty good. Uh, I don't really need any items from you. It's fine. I can have my own stuff. I'd rather you keep it so you can take advantage of it later. Oh, there's my samurai armor. So I was looking for that earlier. Um, wake your shot. I think that's fine. Yeah, should be good. Okay, on the floor it goes. So if you're looking for force stuff, here's a couple force items. Charge arm is really good. Demon ray gun will help a little bit. Desert caliber, willing to play risky is very good. Frozen shooter is a uh, very early ultimate gun. And cure shock, so you can ignore some annoying enemies later. I think that was an okay balance of items. Yeah, that Berserk Calibre can do some big damage. I didn't see any Charge Vulcans in my inventory. Would have just given them away. I don't think they were- oh no, they were here. I'm blind. Ignore me, I'm blind. This item is like the end-all be-all. That gun is so good. Never sell that gun. Basically, when you play like a Hue cast, his big issue is hitting things. So having 50 to hit means that you basically negate the entire penalty of playing Hue Cast, and you can take advantage of his insanely good ATP per level, potentially also with materials and such. And yeah, you delete everything. That is basically your delete weapon. If something's bothering you, you pull out the Charge Vulcan, you blow them away. There's nothing they can really do about it. It's very good. It it has like not really great stats other than hit, but with Hue Cast, all you care about is hit. So hopefully that'll let you mech gun everything down. Oh, looks like you're being dropped some items by uh, Dangotron there. Uh, the special attack is a... You spend money to do a lot of damage. Essentially, it will let you combo kill almost everything in the game as long as you never get rid of that weapon. So, like... For example, if you have about 800 ATP, you're going to be doing at least at least double that on them with charge, if not triple, depending on crits. So the more ATP you get, the more crazy it gets. Berserk Caliber is pretty solid if you just want like an AoE clear weapon. It has a similar concept where all you really care about is hit percentage. So if you freeze trap something, you could do swing swing and just kill something instantly. Cool 50 hit gun year, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that charge falcon is 50 hit. It's very good. That is pretty much something you want on all of your characters, because it's very good. But hopefully those items get you started. Actually, you have two characters, right? Hold on. Let's give you one more heavenly battle before I leave. So that way, no matter which character you level, they'll be fine. I play enough red ID stuff. I have some spares. There you go. So that way you can give one to your uh, other character that you're leveling. 
And then that way your attack, your clear should just be way, way stronger. Even if you can't share all the units, that should make it a bit easier. Okay, so let's wrap up again, no problem. So that is definitely it for me for now. <laughs> yeah, Jaya, Jaya is very, very, very strong. Murphy popping out with the 5.67 damage is totally true. I mean, we have a character with 1,400... Uh, let me think. 1,400 ATP. With Jaya, he's literally doing 1,500 damage, and he can crit up to 1,900. So if you, if you want to put that in perspective, if I land, like, two Jaya combos, I'm doing 3,000 plus to an enemy. They are dead. There is almost nothing that survives that. And if they survive that, they're not going to survive the Vulcan's equivalency of doing that much damage. So imagine poor Worm Boss getting hit by that times 5. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just doing 2k times 5. Yeah, I think, it, I think you can't get below 3 HP. That is true. Spirit, unfortunately, has a limit. I wish Spirit didn't. Yeah, I wish Spirit let you stay at 3 or whatever. I don't know why they programmed it differently than HP. Because then it would have been fine, honestly. But anyway, let's chat. So how do we feel the session went? Well, it was a long session. But I think overall, we got in a lot of bonus stuff. We will probably very briefly talk about the guide off stream. But other than that, we played with new players, helped some people level, we helped alts level. We saw Pazuzu. We almost never see Pazuzu. Uh, we got Red Ring for Murphy, so that's good. But we needed to. We need that to say we got Parasitic Gene Flow for Dango. We got to work on that. I can't believe Pazuzu showed up. Like, actual nonsense. <laughs> Tom Foolery chat. But anyway, I don't think I have anything else to add there. I think the RBR was fine, and we're learning more about different quests that I would maybe play again. I don't think the forest quest was worth playing again. I thought it was the other one uh, that we did maybe three weeks ago at this point. But yeah. Sweep up Operation 14 without the timer I think was fine. I'm not in, like, love with the quest, but I would run it for RBR, specifically. And I think Sweep Up Operation 7 was actually mostly fun, minus the, f the second room. Like, I feel like it was mostly fair in the enemies it did, and there were large numbers of enemies, so it benefited higher numbers of players. Like, not everything has to be a high enemy quest, but at least if it's not going to do that, it should be pretty fast. And I feel like Forest 1 was a lot of walking with no payoff, sadly. But anyway... So let's pause it here for now. And we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VODs, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.